SSL-based attacks uh, have quickly become the favorite of cyber attackers. They uh, really at once represent the, the analogy of an IED device in cyber warfare in that they're easy to execute. There are tools out there such as CURL that's on a uh, common form of a hacker community to uh, hacking tools called Backtrack. Uh, there's also something called THC SSL which is a very famous tool used in this uh, area. There's plenty of platforms from which to execute. In addition, it's very hard to detect and extremely hard to mitigate and at once actually makes a folly of our existing security infrastructure as the existing security infrastructure at once is the vulnerability from which is being exploited. So companies that are at risk at this, moreover, are multifaceted. Almost all retailers are using SSL as part of a primary security mechanism of their websites. Governments are using SSL or a secure socket layer and, uh, encryption in order to protect the government sites. SSL has become ubiquitous, at the same time become vulnerable to, uh, to exploit. So this, this unique situation out there right now where many of the, uh, f the attacks are becoming more effective, essentially increasing the efficacy of the attacks, has been through SSL. This idea of an increased eff efficacy in attacks has actually risen in the importance of, of the perpetrators in designing new tools and new techniques. So on the other hand is the defense. The defense today uh, requires new technology. The old technology, this deep packet inspection of encrypted traffic, puts, the, puts devices in the middle of a communication mechanism which actually gets overwhelmed by the encrypted flood. So said another way, your existing way at which you do deep packet inspection, SSL offloading, is the vulnerability that is being exploited. That this new attack technique is so effective that it requires a brand new approach, if, if you will, a reproach on how you employ technology against an encrypted flood attack.